In this video we're going to complete example 4. Basically we're doing the same thing as our previous videos where we're dividing by fractions. What's different here is that we've got mixed numerals. And whenever you've got mixed numerals, the first thing you need to do is convert it to an improper fraction. So looking at question A, we're going to multiply first and add last. What are we going to get? 3 times 1 is 3. 3 plus 2 is 5. So our first fraction is going to become 5 at the top and 3 at the bottom because the denominator always stays the same. It was 3 originally, so my improper fraction has a 3 for the denominator. We also need to flip the second fraction. 9 over 5 becomes 5 over 9 and our divide symbol becomes multiplication. Let's multiply these now. Multiplying the top two, 5 times 5 is 25. Multiplying the bottom two, 3 times 9 is 27. This is one where we cannot simplify it. Let's now move on to question B. Once again, we have a mixed numeral that we need to convert to an improper fraction. We do this by multiplying first and adding last. What do we get when we do that? 4 times 3 is 12. 12 plus 3 is 15. So my second fraction is going to have a 15 at the top and the denominator stays the same. It's going to have a 4 at the bottom. My first fraction was 10 over 4, so I'll just write that down and at the moment it's still divide. To change it to times, I need to flip the second fraction. Instead of 15 over 4, it's now going to become 4 over 15 and we put the multiplication symbol there. Now when I multiply this I could just multiply the top two 10 times 4 and and then multiply the bottom two but there is a little trick we can use here because we have a 4 at the top and a 4 below. If you have the same number above and below you can actually just cancel it out which makes it easier then we get 10 over 15 rather than a, a really large number above and below. We can also simplify this. I can divide both of these numbers by 5. 10 divide 5 is 2 and 15 divide 5 is 3. I get my simplified fraction of 2 thirds. Now moving on to question C, what you'll notice is we have two mixed numerals. So both of them have to be converted to an improper fraction. We just multiply first and we add last. So let's do that now. Let's look at the first fraction. 3 times 3 is 9. 9 plus 1 is 10. So 10 goes at the top and 3 goes at the bottom because the denominator stays the same. Let's look at the next fraction. 7 times 1 is 7. 7 plus 3 is 10. We'll write this as divide, so 10 goes at the top. The denominator stays the same, so we have 7 at the bottom. Now that we have them as improper fractions, we can follow our normal process. We can keep the first fraction the same and flip the second fraction. We'll make it 7 over 10 and change our divide to multiplication. Once again, we have a number at the top that's the same as a number at the bottom. So we can just cancel them. We can cancel the tens and our solution will be 7 over 3, which we can convert to a mixed numeral. How many times does 3 fit into 7? Well, it fits into 7 twice with a remainder of 1. 1 becomes our numerator and our denominator is the same as the denominator before. It stays as 3. Now moving on to question D. Once again, we just convert our mixed numerals to improper fractions. We do this by multiplying and then adding. Focusing on the first fraction, 5 times 3 is 15 and 15 plus 3 is 18. So our numerator is 18 and our denominator stays the same. It stays as 5. We'll write our divide symbol down and let's move to the next fraction. 7 times 1 is 7, 7 plus 5 is 12. Our numerator is 12 and our denominator stays the same, it stays as 7. 
So following our normal process, the first fraction stays the same, the division changes to multiplication, and the second fraction is flipped. So we have 7 over 12. Now I don't really want to multiply 18 by 7. 5 times 12 is not so bad, but I, I like to avoid multiplying large numbers. What I'm going to do to get around that is I'm first going to write it as one fraction. I'll write it as 18 times 7 at the top and 5 times 12 at the bottom. And I'm going to split some of these numbers up. I know that I can split 18 into 6 times 3. 6 times 3 is 18, and I need to write my times 7 at the end. And I've also got 5 times 12. Now, 12 can be split into 6 times 2. 6 times 2 is 12. I've done this because I can now cancel out the 6s. I have a 6 above and below. It makes it a lot easier to work out the top of the fraction is 3 times 7, or 21, and the bottom of the fraction is 5, is 5 times 2, which is 10. And I would like to convert this to a mixed numeral. I've, I've sort of run out of space, so I'm going to write it up above, up here. Uh, 21 over 10. How many times does 10 fit into 21? It fits in twice with a remainder of 1, and the denominator stays the same. It stays as 10. Anyway, that concludes this video on example four. Remember to read the description below for links to work booklets that relate to this video.